what's up y'all it's Jess welcome back we are playing the next episode of scriptic of dead man's phone my bro bro Jerome somebody pushed him off the top of Stafford Tower off the 12th floor of Stafford Tower onto the pavement onto the ground who did that to him well, who who would do that to him my man's is 16 years old and was caught up in some mess got pushed off the 12th floor what's going on why did they do it uh, we found out last time that we think that he had his location on. So anybody could have done this. <laughs> this could have been, this could have been anybody. At first we thought it was gang related. We thought it was the spring block gang trying to run up because Jerome's friend Lucas had started a beef. He had started a slight little beef with the spring block gang. But you know, now we don't really think, we don't really think it was spring block gang affiliated. We think it was... It's, it's a little closer to home is what Sutherland said, you know, my, my partner. It, it might be a little closer to home. So let's go ahead and jump into it. See what's going on. All right, y'all. We jumping into it. Oh, hey, Sophie. Hello. Hey, sis. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Give me some good news, babe. Well, I just got us access to the rest of the apps on Jerome's phone. Including the social media app and the uh, live location, ma'am. Okay. Was it was it okay dealing with Crown Court to get all that? Uh, actually, it wasn't even that bad. I spent what felt like hours listening to their on hold music, but their playlist is pretty decent. <laughs> okay, girl. I don't care about that. Um, how's the investigation going for you? I think I need another coffee. Okay. I've been up. For what feels like 48 hours, I just have so much to do at the moment. I don't even know what the day of the week is right now. So I'm going to go and make another cup of coffee and I'm going to let you get back to your work. Uh, okay. Also, I've taken the phone off of airplane mode. So there's a chance that there will be a few messages coming through from, you know, the morning after his fall. Just let me know how you got on and if you need anything. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah, Thank that's you. everything, I think. Okay. Bye, girl. I'll speak to you later. TTYL, bye. <laughs> Not TTYL, girl. So if you get off my phone. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to the chat. Because we just, it's a lot going on. We just talked to you, Sophie, but what you got in here? Can you recover the live location data? Can we use Mapper to check Jerome's live location? If it was active on the night of the murder. Okay. She on that now. Give me a minute. Oh, literally a minute, Sophie. Okay, it was on. He did have it enabled. So that means that somebody knew who he was. Or somebody knew where he was. Okay, and several of his contacts knew. I recovered the location data and labeled it night of murder. You can see it all on the Mapper app. Okay, thank you, Sophie. Listen. Thank you, Sophie. Okay, no problem, hon. By the way, some of his contacts active on Mapper that night had their location disabled, so not able to see their movements might be worth looking into them, as even with their location hidden, these individuals could have tracked Jerome. Okay, thank you, Sophie. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Sutherland and the crew. Oh, bring Tara in for, Tara in for questioning. Okay, we ain't gonna do that right now. Um, I don't wanna see his lab. Okay, all right, y'all, let's go into Jerome's phone one more time because we got some more, we got some more stuff to look at. Let's go into chats. Hold on, SE15. Okay, hold on, y'all, from today. So y'all remember Sophie said she took off airplane mode, so we got like new messages on Jerome's phone, like people texting today. All right, Will says, seeing the news, somebody fell off Stafford Tower. You seeing anything, Jerome? Jerome ain't picking up. Lucas said, I think he's dead. Aaron said, somebody give me his mom's number. Karen said, what you saying, Lucas? And Aaron says, somebody give me his effing mom's number. All right, so Aaron tried to contact the family the day of the murder. Lucas said, I'm going to murder them all. I'm tooling up and I'm going. No way they're going to murder my best friend. And I'm going to sit here and do nothing. Aaron said, you stupid effing idiot. It's all your fault. I'm going to murder you. 
and Lucas says, you try your best, little man. I never liked you. No one ever liked you. <laughs> okay. So everybody arguing. Y'all are tussling in this chat. Will said, come on, boys. Come on. Lucas said, little B word gonna cry. Will said, we're brothers. None of this. Aaron said, it's your fault. He dead. It's your fault. And Karen said, why is it Lucas' fault? Aaron said, because he thought he was a big man. And Will said, yo, what are you saying? Lucas attacked Spring Block and Jerome got killed for it. Will said, what? Aaron said, the feds talked to me. I went in for an interview. Feds said Spring Block boys found Jerome carrying a chrome mask that Lucas had stolen from them. So they killed Jerome as revenge. Lucas said, it's true. I know I did wrong, but what they did to our brother... There's no words, man. Lucas said, I'm heading in the spring block tonight. I got to do this for Jerome. For Jerome. Lucas, don't go in there. Karen said, he coming. Will said, yeah, I'm in. Okay, so y'all going to run up. Y'all friend just died. <laughs> Karen said, Aaron. Aaron ain't about that life. Oh, Aaron said, yeah. He in too. Okay, so they running up. He running up. Okay, good. 1030 on the corner of my street by the bus stop. Y'all, I can send messages from Jerome's phone. Bring whatever you can find. Kitchen knife, hammer. It don't matter. Y'all, I can send messages. I can send messages from Jerome's phone. Okay, I ain't gonna say it was not spring block because I don't know that for sure. I'm gonna say stop. Stop now. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Will said, nah, Jerome? Jerome, that's you? <laughs> Where are you? We come get you. This is not Jerome. I ain't gonna say yes. Yeah, me. I can't lie to these people. This is not Jerome. <laughs> Lucas said, who the F is this then? This spring block ain't it. We gonna F you ops up. <laughs> Kara said, yo, it might be Kane. Will said, who this? Speak up now. And Lucas said, wait, nah. I know who it is. Who is it, Lucas? You know it's me. <laughs> Lucas said, it's the feds, man. They got his phone. Kira said, the feds? Really? Not me saying, nah, blood, this be Kane. That's, that's racist. I'm not, I'm not texting that. I'm not texting that. Um, I'm gonna say suggestions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's me. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Lucas said, we don't give a F who you are. Get the F off his phone. Who you talking to, Lucas? <laughs> who you talking to? Will said, yo, Lucas, that means the feds saw you talking about taking a knife. And Lucas said, nah, I ain't say nothing about no knife. Bro, you just said bring a knife. You just said this. You making a big mistake though, Lucas. I know you angry. Spring Block did not push Jerome off that staff off Stafford Tower. Lucas calling me an effing liar. Lucas, you better watch your mouth. You better watch your mouth. You don't know who you talking to. Aaron said, how I know. And Lucas says, you told me they were. They would get revenge on SE15. <laughs> Nobody never heard of y'all. Nobody has never heard of y'all group before. It's just the four of y'all. What are y'all talking about? Aaron said, this is what I thought. None of this makes sense. Lucas said, nah, Fed is lying, Aaron. <laughs> you could tell Lucas mad because it's all types of typos in his text messages. Aaron said, why would Spring Block kill Jerome over a mask? Lucas said, because they want to bring down SE15, bro. <laughs> Aaron said, Lucas, please, <laughs> please stop talking about SE15 like we a gang. We came up with that name in Mr. Graham's math class. You ain't no gang member. I ain't no gang member. None of us are gang members. <laughs> None of us. You need to grow the F up. Not not coming up with the name in math class. Y'all should have been looking at the algebra lesson instead of coming up with gangs and stuff. Will said, so if it wasn't Spring Block, then who was it? I don't want to say most likely someone who knew him because these people in this chat know him. I'm going to say that's what we try to find out. Aaron said, is there anything we can do to help? And Lucas said, we are not going to help this effing pig. And Will said, if this effing pig wants to find out who killed Jerome, then we got to help. And Lucas said, nah, they can't be trusted. Telling you. 
Lucas, you ain't supposed to talk about me in the group chat. You supposed to you supposed to talk your trash about me one on one, like not in the group chat. You supposed to be texting Will on the side this, but he don't even care. Calling me a pig, calling me the feds and stuff. Aaron said, I got an idea. We can start a campaign on Snap Life. And Will said, that's a sick idea. Aaron said, somebody know what happened. This way we can reach out to the whole of Peckham and get answers. Hashtag who killed Jerome Jacobs. Hashtag WKJJ. And Will said, yeah, nice. Will, you got bear followers. I think bear means like a lot or like really, you know. Karen said, it could get loads of people to share it. Will said, bro, you know Mia follows me. The Snap Life model, the Snap Life goddess. Okay. <laughs> Y'all focus. Focus. We got to figure out who who killed Jerome. Kieran said, yo, this could go viral. I'm going to start designing a logo. A logo? <laughs> Lucas, you could do some graffiti, round the ends, get a stencil made. That'd be sick, Lucas. Okay, so they're coming up with some social media campaign. This is productive. This sounds productive. Thank you. Thank you, lads. This is great. Instead of running up. <laughs> Will said, you still here? Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'm still here reading all y'all messages. Will said, what's the Jake's name again? <laughs> Kira said, just suggestions. Don't call me a Jake. I don't even know. Will said, that's the worst name. Who you talking to, Will? Now you a suspect. Just because you said that, now I'm making you a suspect. Bring you in for questioning. Lucas said, yes, yeah, the same fan who interviewed me. I was creasing in the interview room. Does your mom not love you or something? Why y'all? Okay. Y'all mean. <laughs> y'all are mean. But this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I love y'all. <laughs> y'all roasted me. Y'all roasted me in the chat. Aaron said, anyway, let's all get moving on the Snap Life campaign. <laughs> y'all, they are shading me to my face. Y'all are disrespectful. Y'all are disrespectful. All right, y'all. So I want to check some of these messages to see if anybody has texted Jerome's phone today. Mama did not. Mama did not text the phone today. Let's look at Aaron. Aaron did text. Aaron said, Jerome, pick up the phone now. Need to talk to you. Have you seen the news? Jerome, please. Okay, so he did not know Jerome was dead. So that's why he was texting, trying to get a re reply. Let's look at Will. Did Will message? I don't think he did. Okay. Will did not. The last message we had was like right before Jerome died. Um, when he said he was going home. Um, Lucas text this morning and said, Jerome, you get back last night? Okay, that was at 739. Jerome did not reply, obviously, because he was dead. Uh, Karen, Karen did also not text today. So, okay, so, listen, I'm, I'm <sighs> got little nuggets, just taking notes, just taking notes of who's, who was texting and who was not texting, you know, that's it. Okay, um, let's go to Snap, Snap Life, <laughs> Snap Life. Okay, we got some WKJJ, they already got, <laughs> they already got a logo? Hold on, y'all, can I see? They already got a post, look at this, I'll miss you more, okay. Oh, Mapper, y'all, we gotta see who could view his location, Jerome's location. The night of the murder. Okay, let's play the recording. What's the recording? That's Marcus. Where am I? Where is... um? Okay, so Marcus was... <laughs> Marcus was just roaming the streets, drunk. See how he moving around and stuff? Okay. Um. And then... Let's see. The night of the murder. What's this? 21. Okay, that's 11. Okay, it's 11 o'clock right now. Jerome arrived at the meeting point. Mama returned home from work. Jerome arrived at the house party with Marcus and Will. I mean, with uh, whoever and Will. <laughs> I ain't see that. 
Mark is still roaming around. He is pretty close to me, though. He is pretty close. All right, it's midnight now, y'all. So what else we got? Mark is still roaming. Everybody at the party. It's 1 a.m. Everybody at the party. People gonna start leaving now. Okay, Lucas. Lucas st stole the mask and he gone. Okay. Lucas dropped the mask, run past Jerome with the spring block encounter. Jerome at Stafford Tower. Marcus was at a different location. I can't, can I like zoom out? Okay, I can't zoom out. Jerome mama woke up to the news of his death. Okay. And it's 5 a.m. I think that was it. Hold on, y'all. I can I run all this back. Oh, okay, I can I can rewind it myself. Okay. Okay. At two, let's see. Okay, so everybody was at the party at one, right? And then as we hit two o'clock, Karen is up at the top, right? Like you the one at the top of my screen in the hoodie. Or I guess they all got hoodies on. The blue in the blue hoodie. That's Karen up at the top at two o'clock. And then that's Lucas up there running for his life with the spring block gang. But who this T so like Jerome and Marcus look like they're crossing paths. Like it look like they close to one another, don't it? Like I'm I'm moving forwards and backwards so y'all can see <laughs> what's going on. Like this is backwards and then we move in time forward. So it looked like they did cross paths, but then Jerome went on about his business, okay? Okay, and then this is 2.30. It looked like Jerome's kind of in his house. Hold on, I, my finger slipped. He's he's at Stafford Tower now, right? Like, this is, like, the time of his death. So this is basically where everybody is at the time of death. Let's look down here at the bottom. We got some statuses. Um, Marcus is still active. Fugax, I don't know who that is, but they're disabled. Bradley is also disabled. Add these people as a person of interest. Okay, so this is the live view of what's happening right now. So it looked like it looked like Marcus then got into the good graces back with the mama because he back at home now. Um, Will at home. Uh, what's his face is at home. Aaron's at home. Lucas and Ken, everybody at home now. Uh, who is this? Who is this white man down at the bottom? <laughs> who is who is it? But y'all peep this. This ain't no clue. But I got a Raheem down at the bottom, whose location is disabled. So I don't know who that is. And then y'all, I don't think y'all can see this very well. I can't see it very well. But Tara is at the top. She's at the top corner of the screen. And her location did not move. So she, she might be telling the truth that she at home in bed, I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right, let's go to intelligence. All right, let's identify those contacts with their location disabled. It's two people. Can we get a hold of their records? So we got two people. We got Bradley North. And he is a resident of Leeds. He does not live in London. He's 16 years old. And then there's F F Fugax. Fugax, <laughs> bit of a mystery, I'm afraid. Couldn't find a real name or address, but Bradley's records have been linked to the ground team. Okay, Fugax could be key. Who is that? Keep searching for that man and see what's going on with him. And she said, of course. But if you see anything else on Jerome's phone, defo, let me know. Okay, thank you, Sophie. All right, let's, let's look at forensics real quick. Does Fugax mean anything to you? Vikram said, ha ha, well, you got to know some medical terms in this line of work. In Latin, it means fleeting, but it's most commonly used around pro proctologica fugax, which literally means a pain in the butt. <laughs> right, kind of like this investigation. Hmm, that could be a clue, though. Because what if it's somebody that Jerome didn't like? Vikram said, if it is... I want all the credit. <laughs> okay. On the ground. Jerome's location cooperates this investigation. Sutherland said was just having a look. The whole story's there. Bronson said amazing to see all the moving pieces. Can see Marcus was not even close to Stafford Tower at the time of Jerome's death. 
And Sutherland said, this data is definitely a valuable resource, but doesn't provide any new leads for us. And I said, some contacts had their location disabled. Sutherland said, okay, don't jump too quickly to any conclusions there, but yes, certainly worth us speaking to them. Let's identify those individuals and bring them in for questioning. Okay, y'all, I really want to bring in Tara. I really want to bring in Tara for questioning because she was ducking and dodging us last episode. Let's see what she, let's see if we can talk to her again today. See if she ain't still crying. She's still not in a fit state to come in. Mother says a few more days. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why Tara is, okay, you, it's fine. It's fine. whatever, whatever. Let's bring Bradley in for questioning. Bradley lives in Leeds. He does not live in London, y'all. But we need to, we got to interview somebody. <laughs> somebody knows something. Bronson said, the individual in question lives in Leeds. You want us on this now? Yes, didn't I say, didn't I say that? Get West Yorkshire police to do it. I don't know if they can do it, but do it. Southern was said, good solution. Bronson said, yep. Right. Like, figure it out. Quit asking me questions about your job. Okay. Southern was said, just spoke with Lee's officers. They visited the address, but apparently Bradley North does not live there for the last year or so. Okay, so he don't live. He might he might live in London. Okay, a few neighbors believe the mother Winnie North look took the kids to live with her sister, but not sure where. Okay, get them get their current address, please. I bet you he in London. <laughs> I bet you he in London. Okay, Sophie, can you give me Bradley's new address, please? Sophie said I'll get a few people on it. Come on, get a move on, Sophie. Get a move on. Okay, y'all, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to skip time. I forgot that. <laughs> I forgot about this group chat here. We're going to skip time in this group chat and see what they've been doing, what they've been up to. All right, Will said, yo, you seen Snap Life? And Aaron said, nah, no way. The F you two on about. What's happening? Will said this. <laughs> Oh shoot, the Mia woman, the model, the IG model got got our got the trending topic. WKJJ is trending. Them t-shirts are sick. Everyone's wearing it. And Will said, yeah, fam, my guy made them for free. And big up Aaron's design. Y'all, they pulled together a whole logo, hashtag, and t-shirt in like <laughs> it I mean in in the suggestions universe, it was like 10 minutes like they did all this in like 10 minutes and got the model woman wearing it that's crazy lucas said jerome would be so gassed if he could see this can't believe th this thing's actually going viral all right so what we do now keep feeding the beast more posts more hashtag wkjj who knows what clues we might find on snap life okay mia said want justice for jerome jacobs a south london boy who was thrown off a tower block his family and friends want answers show your support yeah mia yeah okay who is this charisma f i heard he got spiked at a party hashtag wkjj rumors that jerome's drink was spiked at a party no it wasn't because the toxicology report said it wasn't okay y'all look at all these people reposting the WKJJ. Okay, Sharifa says somebody said it could be his daddy. Rumors that Jerome's father is involved. Oh, like his daddy daddy? Like his actual daddy? Not Marcus, because Marcus is a stepdad, right? Okay, we want answers. Look at all these people, y'all. Posting with they, with they shirts. Yes, we angry. Yes, we want answers. Come on, community. Pulling up. Pulling up for Jerome. I know that's right. I know that's right. Let's go back to my chat, my police chat. All right, let's go to forensics. Any chance Jerome's drink was spiked? Bro, Vikram, because you said no. Oh, wait. <laughs> Vikram says, sure. I already did the usual blood work, but no harm in being thorough. Okay, well, get on it, Vikram. He said, okay, ran all the tests. 
And unless it's some kind of designer drug new to science, the kid's clean. Okay. Thanks for double checking. Okay, y'all. Let's jump into the chat real quick. The group chat. I got some questions. Hello. Your, your campaign already brought up some leads. You mind if I ask some questions here? Y'all better start talking. <laughs> we'll say it already. That's sick. And Lucas said, I ain't saying nothing. Um, does, does Fugax mean anything to y'all? <laughs> Aaron said, Fu what? <laughs> Lucas said, man's just chatting words now. Is that the new Marvel villain? Why they, why they roasting me like this? Why they roasting me? Come back to us when you start making sense. Why they roasting me, y'all? Okay, y'all, it's, it's a day later. It's a day later, y'all. So Aaron said, wow, this is getting really mad. Just got a private message on Snap Life from a BBO News reporter. Hi there, I'm a reporter with BBO News. We're doing a feature on the death of Jerome Jacobs and we'd love to talk to you about the WKJJ campaign. Are you free this afternoon? Will said, mad, bro. Guess I should talk to her? Yep, for sure. Lucas said, yo, don't mention my name. Got enough feds watching me. <laughs> Just suggestions. You right, I am watching. I am watching. Aaron said, I think I'm gonna message her back. Oh, shoot. Oh, this the reporter, y'all. Hold on. Hi, is this the lead detective working on the Jerome Jacobs case? It is. How can I help you? What do you want? Hi there, this is Anushka and I'm a reporter with BBO News. We're doing a piece on the Jerome Jacobs murder. Mm -hmm. You might not be aware, but a social media campaign demanding answers for Jerome's murder has just gone viral uh -huh. on Snap Life, uh -huh. and I'm sure you're very busy. But could Scotland Yard give us a statement on the status of the investigation? We cannot... We cannot, <laughs> we, we cannot give you a comment right okay, now. Okay, thanks. I'm not getting caught up in your media frenzy, girl. Stop it. How you even get this number? How did you get this number? <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go to Snap Life one more time. Um, oh, shoot, hold on, y'all. This man got hashtag Fugax Toby Anders, Toby Dot Anders. Okay, bro, bro, you might have just implicated yourself, and you don't even know it, Toby Anders. Okay, and here go some more people going viral. Jerome's history grades were insane. Was he bribing Mr. Harker? And stuff got real. Y'all, we going viral. We going viral. Okay, Sophie. Sophie, I got a name for you. I need you to run Toby Anders. Oh, this is the wrong thing. Sophie. <laughs> Who guess is Toby Dot Anders? Come on. Give me some information, Sophie. Sophie said, nice spot. Let me do a quick search. Go on and get the search done, girl. Toby Anderson. East Dulwich. Okay, he attends the same school as Jerome. 16 years old. His deets are with the ground team now. Be sure to ask him if it's pronounced Fugax or Fugax. Cheers for this, Sophie. I'd buy you a drink or something. Toby, we need Toby in for questioning ASAP. Okay, in interview room A. All right, let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Okay, y'all, this is Toby. This is, he was on Jerome's map app, mapper app with no location. Like he turned off his location. So we trying to figure out what's your connection. His name is Toby Anderson, born September 2nd, 2005. Uh, how you know Jerome? How do you know him? And don't lie to me. Don't lie to me either, because I know. Okay, Toby said, we both go to the same school, Peckham Academy. He said, I'm a different year to him, but we know each other. Sometimes play football together. I always thought Jerome was sound. Honestly, couldn't believe it when I heard. You know, Jerome, of all people, it's madness. Okay, do you use Mapper, Toby? Toby said, Mapper? Yeah, yeah, I use that. It's mad, isn't it? You can properly watch people. Like, where they're going. Right. <laughs> you can, Toby. I think it's a bit weird, to be honest. Okay, so why your location disabled? Why you got the app, but got your location disabled? Toby said, because I don't like people seeing where I am. It's fun to watch people on there, you know. Oh, is it? Is it, Toby? But, you don't, but I don't like people watching me. Okay. That's creepy. You were active on Mapper the night Jerome was murdered, though, bro. Toby said, how you know? <laughs> don't worry about it. Sutherland said, we have the metadata, Toby. And Toby said, oh, fair enough. Right, fair enough. I'm sure you're right. 
I am right. I'm the feds. Of course I'm right. I've always got like every app open at once, you know? Sometimes I'll close an app, then forget, and open it again 10 seconds later. I use my phone way too much. Where were you that night? Where were you the night Jerome was murdered? Toby's eyes light up in excitement. Why are you excited? Toby said, you guys think I was involved? Wait, is that why you brought me in? That's mad, bro. Man, I cannot wait to tell my mates this. You ain't gonna tell them nothing when you behind bars. You better you better start answering my questions. Toby said, so what? Am I like a proper murder suspect? Sutherland said, don't get carried away, Toby. We need to establish your location that night. And Toby said, that's mad. Um, okay, let me think. I know what I was doing that night. Went around my girls. Who your girl? Is it Tara? <laughs> I know because I remember hearing about the Stafford Tower fall next morning at breakfast. Her parents told us. Of course, we didn't know it was Jerome then. Toby said, you can ask them. Who's your girl? Who's your girl's parents? Why were you at your girlfriend's house? Okay. Whatever. She was in a real bad mood that night, as I remember. My girl, math teacher, Mr. Graham, shouted at her in class, made her cry. Why he have to act like some red man? I don't know. What you say? Right. <laughs> what you say? Some red man. And Toby said, huh? <laughs> huh? Sutherland said, repeat what you just said. He said about Mr. Graham, about the red man. Oh, I don't know. It's just a new word. People been saying lately. Sutherland said, what does it mean? And Toby said, I don't know, like someone scary? Sutherland said, like a monster. And Toby said, yeah, I guess. I'm gonna say, when did you hear this word, Toby? When did you hear this word? And Toby said, just the other day. It's a new word. Sutherland said, before or after Jerome's death? And Toby said, I don't know. You better, you better figure it out, Toby. Maybe after? <laughs> Toby said, what's going on here? I, who said it? Who who did you hear saying Redmond? And don't lie either. Toby said, I honestly don't know. People just started saying it the other day. I don't know how these things start. Okay, I'm going to say Jerome said Redmond. Witnesses heard Jerome say that. Toby said they did. And he shakes his head baffled. Sutherland said, you can go now, Toby. Thank you for your help. Why are you dismissing him? I got more questions to ask him. Who is his girlfriend? Who is his girlfriend and why are they sleeping over? Why he's sleeping over? Uh, Toby said, you know, if I think about it, people weren't saying that word before Jerome died. I've only heard it since. And then Toby exits interview room A. Why would they be saying it since, Toby? Why would they be doing that? Okay, can we follow up on Toby's alibi? Who are these people that he was with? Spoke with his parents and his girlfriend's parents. They both cons they both confirmed he stayed at hers that night. Who is the girlfriend? Because in my mind, I think it's Tara. <laughs> I think that he was creeping around with Tara. But that's a theory. That's a suggestion theory. All right, let's go back to the group chat, y'all. Y'all campaign threw up some new leagues. Y'all helping out with the campaign. Will said nice, and Aaron said go ahead. Did Jerome have some dodgy deal with a teacher? They gonna laugh at me again. <laughs> Aaron put, Aaron put a straight face emoji. Okay, one, that's insane. Two, it's Mr. Parker, not Mr. Harker. Three. <laughs> Parker's not even been at school this year. And four. <laughs> Jerome didn't need to bribe a teacher to do well. He just did well at everything. <laughs> Lucas said more than we can say for this fool. And Will said true that. Why Why y'all roasting me? Why y'all roasting me? I'm trying to figure out the case. <laughs> y'all mean. <laughs> y'all mean. Okay, we skipped time, y'all. It's a day later. Will said, Aaron, just read the BBO news article. Well done. Lucas said, yeah, fam, I can't believe it. It's sick. Aaron said, thanks, guys. And Will said, you good, bro? He said, yeah, yeah. It's just Jerome's mom just called me. His funeral's tomorrow. Lucas said, nearly forgot about a funeral. I did, too. I forgot about a funeral, too. Aaron said, yeah, she told me to tell you guys. 1 p.m. at St. Matthew's Church. Kieran said, um, Aaron... Aaron said, you can borrow my bro's suit, Kieran. It's calm. I guess, like, it's okay. 
and Karen said thanks. Okay. Bro, you should feel blessed. We put Jerome on BBO News. Whole country seeing this now. No way we're not going to get justice for our boy. And Aaron said, nah, I feel you, man. Just a bit tired is all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, oh, look. Let's read the BBO News article. A teenage boy was murdered in South London last week, thrown from a 12th floor of his own tower block. This week, a social media campaign has gone viral asking one question. Who killed Jerome Jacobs? Jerome, 16, was by all accounts a remarkable young man, someone who excelled at whatever he set his sights on. An aspiring spoken word artist and creative writer, active in both his school's football team and chess club. You couldn't not like him. Yeah, he did well in everything, but he also made you do better just by being around him, always lifting others up. Aaron Daniels, a schoolmate of Jerome's and one of his closest friends, launched the hashtag WKJJ campaign in the wake of Jerome's death with friends Karen Stevens, Lucas Grant, and Will, Ev and Will Evans. We wanted answers and no one had given us any, so we decided to take the matter into our own hands and reach out to the whole community. Aaron and his friends built the WKJJ campaign from the ground up, designing the logo, printing t-shirts, and spreading stencils and stickers around the Peckham area. What started as a local appeal has now captured the hearts and minds of the capital. WKJJ is currently the top trending hashtag in London. The campaign has attracted high-profile supporters from influencer Mia Lifesgrot, I think, to rapper Drill Minister. We never expected so many people to get behind it. We think it just shows that everyone wants justice for Jerome, not just his family and friends. Despite this publicity, the police investigation into Jerome's murder has made slow progress. We reached out for a statement to the investigation, but Scotland Yard declined to comment. Right, because it ain't none of y'all business. As detectives continue to make sense of Jerome's murder, Aaron is hopeful that new leads will arise from their social media campaign. The whole of London's listening now. Someone out there knows who's responsible. All they have to do now is speak up. Okay, I, I asked, <laughs> hey, have y'all seen the BBL news report? Have y'all seen it? Sutherland said, I have indeed. It's good news, boys. Top Brass has just called in. The Jerome Jacobs investigation will be getting special dispensation and a guarantee of continued funding. And Bronson said, nice, that's great news. Apparently, this report rubbed the right people the wrong way. And now Scotland Yard actually wants this thing solved. <laughs> well, terrific. Terrific. Me saying no comment. Suddenly said, it really is. Police work is always a battle for resources. Great to know this investigation is secure. All right, y'all, it's the next day, so it's after the funeral. And Lucas said, not gonna lie, seeing them put Jerome in the ground like that and Jerome's mom crying, screaming, I don't know, just can't get to sleep. Yo, anybody there? <laughs> and Will said, we hear you, man. He said, can't get to sleep. Not so many WKJJ posts on Snap Life at the moment. What do you think we should do, Aaron? Lucas said, it was just the way she was screaming, you know? Can't get to sleep. Man, that's sad, man. That's sad. Where Aaron at? <laughs> Why Aaron ain't reply? Let's, let's skip ahead one more time, y'all. <laughs> Okay, Mia added a post on Snap Life. Hold on. This fluffy one is my new favorite. Save the rhinos. Okay, that campaign no longer trending. Okay, okay. And here go Toby. All right. Okay, y'all. So the timeline kind of going back to normal. It's kind of going back to normal. Remember last time everybody was posting the wkjj but nah ain't no more okay will said yo guys mia's got a new post on snap life <laughs> save the rhinos <laughs> lucas said what the f this be talking about what happened to justice for jerome and will said i guess she moved on and lucas said b only ever posted because it was trending and kieran said it's not trending anymore will said we'll need her we'll need her we can keep wkjj going I can print more t-shirts. Aaron said, it's over. It's just a black boy dead in Peckham. You forgot that, didn't you? You thought this was something else. This ain't important, man. And Karen said, don't say that, Aaron. And Aaron said, no, it means nothing. Nothing. Sooner you wake up to that, the easier this will all be. And Aaron left the group, y'all. 
That's crazy. <laughs> Lucas said, hey, somebody put Aaron back in this group. Who's admin? Probably Jerome. Yep, Karen said Jerome. And Will said, yo, suggestions. <laughs> Can you put Aaron back in the group chat, please? Add participants, Aaron W. Hold on. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess it up. Hold on. <laughs> now y'all need something from me. Y'all need something from me now. Is it Aaron W, y'all? Or is it Aaron? Hold on. What's Aaron's last name? Aaron's last name. Oh, Aaron's last name is Daniels. Okay, so it ain't Aaron W. Okay. Okay, I'm adding them, y'all. I'm going to add, add participants. Aaron, get back in the group chat. Get back in this group chat. <laughs> Karen said, Aaron, please don't leave the group no more. Right. Aaron said, just leave me alone. What is it? Charles Wallace dies at 99. I don't care about that. I don't care about Jerome. Aaron said, just leave me alone. I won't leave the group, but just leave me alone. I'm going to say, I'm going to say I'm sorry. Nobody should be going through what y'all going through. And Karen changed it back to SE15. Don't do, don't do that. Don't change it back to SE15. They giving up. His friends are giving up, y'all. His friends are giving up. I'm not going to give up, Jerome. I'm not giving up. Okay, I said, so what new toys do we get with this special funding? And Sutherland said, bastards, just received a call from the superintendent. The funding pledge has been cut. There's been a spate of knife crimes over the weekend. Three new murders. And well, Jerome Jacobs' story has fallen off the news cycle. Y'all gonna forget about this man just as quick as we we found. We were making inroads, y'all. Like, we were making, <laughs> we were helping with this. McGuire said, what does mean for our investigation? And Sutherland said, it means we're going to have to start making some tough decisions. Superintendent has given us an ultimatum. Either the whole team takes a salary cut or what? Or Scotland Yard frees funding to these new murder investigations. Good Lord. Bronson said, sir, that's three people stabbed to death only days ago. How on earth can we halt funding to new murder investigations? And Sutherland says, it's not what anybody wants. Look, detective suggestions. <laughs> what you think? So, y'all, I'm solving Jerome's case. I don't care. I don't care. We're taking salary cuts. We are taking salary cuts. We're solving this case. We're solving this case. I don't care about y'all. Sutherland said, agreed. PC McGuire and them, y'all ain't done nothing no way to be getting y'all salary. Go ahead. Okay, somebody added a new post. Can I go? What's this? Listen, man's got something to say about Jacobs. So I got something to say about Jacobs. Listen, 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 listen. What was that? <laughs> ten, ten, yo, ten. yo, was that somebody? Was B Driller? <laughs> okay, y'all. So that was the end. Of episode three. Everybody then gave up on my bro bro. Everybody has given up on my bro bro. I ain't gave I ain't giving up, Jerome. I have not given up. We we solving your your case, bro. We solving your case. Even if I gotta work for free, I'm solving this case. I don't care. I don't care. But okay, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. I'm so interested. I'm so invested, y'all. <laughs> I have not even played Harry Potter today. It's crazy. Or the Hogwarts Legacy. I ain't even played Hogwarts Legacy today because I am so, I, I ain't ate lunch. Listen, <laughs> I'm so invested in this story. I'm so invested in it. We gonna find your killer, bro, bro. We are gonna find him. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.